Ben, Jen, well, first of all, it's still a very active scene out here. Several hours after that shot spotter activation came in. Take a look behind me. This is on street here in Hartford and you can see that there are still several police cruiser out police cruisers out here the road's still blocked off and that truck that you can see in the distance that's Hartford police's crime scene division's truck that's been out here for quite some time as well now we had, do have some video from earlier tonight when ambulances were still coming to and from the scene. Now, police first got that shot spotter activation just before 6.30 tonight, and police say when officers got here, they found three men who had been shot. Two men in their 20s were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries, but a third victim, a man in his 30s, is in critical condition tonight. Police say his injuries were life-threatening. I did speak to a man who lives just around the corner from where this happened. He says he heard the gunshots and ran out to see what happened. He said he was really concerned that it happened in the daylight while people and children were still around. We heard like about like seven shots, like back to back. And then from there, we came back to the corner and we seen like three people on the floor just laying down. So um, I don't know what happened after that. Because sometimes um, there's like kids, you know what I'm saying, um, around like five o'clock, just playing right next to the place, you know, and it's like dangerous. It's a very residential area where this happened. It's not far from Colt Park and Hartford Police say at this point they don't know what led up to the shooting. The Hartford Police Major Crimes Division and the Crime Scene Division both taken over this investigation and they are asking anyone with information to give them a call. Live in Hartford, Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News.